Hi parents, this is Neil here, Director of ICT at Penrose. I thought I'd take you through a short video on the changes we've made to the existing parent portal. As you can see on my screen right now, this is the current parent portal that you're used to seeing when you log in. And we've done some work over Christmas break to try and make the experience a bit more seamless for everyone. So in the communications that you'll be receiving shortly from marketing, you'll have the new parent portal link in. When you click on the parent portal link, it'll ask you for your parent username, login details, and your password. They're the same credentials that you use today. What we've tried to do in the new parent portal is to brand it so it's more parent and user friendly. So as you can see at the top here, we've got welcome Neil Manali to your portal. So this way you know that you're logged into the Penros portal. We've also created some tiles and hover buttons for each area. So if your child's in junior school year three, you would just hover to year three and it'll take you to the year three section. If your child is in your senior school, over here you've got secondary school and learning, you'd go to year seven, eight, nine, 10 and go to the section that you would like to. And the experience is actually quite easier on a desktop and a laptop. We've also got secondary school admin, and that hasn't changed from the same location as last year. So if you went to secondary school admin, it would take you to this page here, which is similar to what you've seen previously. If you go back to the parent portal and you go to co-curricular, you have junior school and senior school for co-curricular. This is really important because it is different for junior and for secondary. So if you open up junior co-curricular, it'll take you to this page here and it will show you the calendar and how the junior co-curricular is set up. If you go back to the portal and you click on secondary school, it will open up to the Penrose co-curricular for secondary. Very similar, it shows you what's on in what terms and then when things are opened up for registration, you'll be able to register through here. If you go back to the portal, you also have junior school pastoral care and secondary school pastoral care. So again, if you click on junior school, it will take you to the pastoral care homepage for junior school. And if you click on senior school, it'll take you through to the secondary school. If you go back to uh, the Penrose College calendar, this gives you an overview. So if I open up the calendar, this gives you an overview of 2020. On the left here, it gives it to you by month. And with the filters that we've created, we've branded the filters to make, make it a little bit more user friendly. So if you want to see what's going on with absolutely everything, whether it be community marketing, ICSA, junior school, academic admin, co-curricular, pastoral, teaching and learning, staff PD or tours, you click on show all and it'll show you everything that's going on. If you just want to see what's going on in community and marketing, you just got to filter by the section that you're clicking on. Now, if your daughter, like my daughter is starting year seven, you can click on year seven. And if you just want to see what's year seven co-curricular, you will just click on co-curricular and it will show you what's going on for co-curricular and get to the year seven. But the, the idea here is that it gives you the opportunity to filter by by area, which is community marketing, ICSA, junior school, or filter by year. So if you want to see what's happening in just your daughter's year, you would click on that and it will show you everything that you want. That's a big change and it's going to make things a little bit more seamless and a little bit easier to follow when looking at the whole school calendar. Another big change that we've made is up to personal and medical details. Now in the past you would have gone into the Synergetics in Portal to do this. We've changed this now to use Consent to Go, which is an inclusion exclusion program. By law, we have to update two months prior to the start of term. So you would have received an email from Penrose asking you to update your child's medical. Now the update could be as simple as you checking that the details we have on file are correct. But if you click on update personal medical, it'll bring you to consent to go's login page. And basically you'll put in your email address and then you'll get a link sent to your email. And this gives you the opportunity there to update your daughter's medical information and Medicare and HBF or anything else that has changed in that space. Incursions and, and excursions will no longer exist the way you've seen it, where you get paper. It's all driven online now and this is really, really important for us to make sure that we have the right medical information for your daughter on files. Also on the parent portal here, we've got some useful links. So I've put here the student information synergetic link. This is the same link that you would have used if I go back to the old one here to family details or academic and tutorial portal. It's the exact same. What I have done on the portal is inject this into the SharePoint page. So when you log on at home on your computer, it will automatically put up this page here into your login. So when I log on now as a parent, I get to see my wife, my daughter, um, and obviously myself. 
and I get to see everything that I would see which previously was different locations, different icons, different passwords that you had to log into. We tried to make this as seamless as possible. So if you want to see what's going on with your tuition account, you'd click there. Any payment plans or stored card you'd have, you'd put here. If you want to see your academic documents for your daughter, you would go here. And obviously, if you want to click on the PTI for a parent teacher interview, you'd click here as well. The one thing I will say is that the parent portal, it is not mobile friendly. So if you try to access this on your mobile, it will work but you do need to pinch your screen. It becomes quite cumbersome and becomes quite challenging. So what I will say is that if you ever log on to the portal on your mobile device and you do not see the SIM portal logged on here, that means your device is not liking the iframe that we've injected into the portal and it's device specific. It's nothing to do with us or the page. It's actually the phone you are using. If that ever happens, you just click on useful links and student information system synergetic and it will open this up in a different page for you and this will work 100% of the time. If you have any queries, feel free to always call IT support at PENOS and speak to my team. I'm also happy for you to contact me directly if need be to go through this or any other concerns you have around technology.